Right, this is today's project. I'm not going to bore you with squaring up the stock. I'm going to do that uh, off camera. This is a, a little um, fixture for cross drilling small wire. Well, why would you need that? Um, once you start building small models, you'll you'll find out why you need it. And uh, up until now, I've been flat spotting it and drilling it, which is very hit and miss. Any, anyone who's drilled small small gauge, cross drilled small gauge stuff like this will uh, know the problem. So what I'm going to do, I've modelled this little block up as a bit of overkill I think when I drew it up, but um, the idea is that that will go into there and uh, be able to clamp down on it and drill through so that the key point is getting each section of this block 100% um, accurate. I've left them a little bit long in this direction um, so that I can drill a few more holes as I go if needed for different sizes. I've got these uh, little blocks all uh, squared up now. I'm just going to put a couple of witness marks on the end Just so that um, from now on, I can keep uh, I can keep the uh, faces exactly where they are. I mean, the, these blocks are give or take half a thou are exactly the same as each other. But uh, on, on small, when, when you're putting small rod in there, half a thou can be uh, quite a big difference. I need to mark the centre line so that I know where to put, I'm going to use the cutter to put a V-slot in here, I'm going to set that up at 45 degrees. I'll just put one of them to one side for now, I don't need this one for a little while. mark the center line Right, this task is made even more difficult because I haven't got a 45 degree angle block. But um, I've got a 35 and a 15. Yep, that looks good. Using the old eyechrometer and a magnifying glass. And um, I've, I've set the height, zeroed out the uh, little DRO on the front dial here, and I can lock that off now, move out, and come in on the X axis till I hit my mark. I don't know if it's going to focus. Yeah, you should be able to see it there. You can see my mark, so you can see where I'm aiming for. Okay. I can 
see where on the mark. Okay, what I need to do now, lining up the witness mark so I know where I am. Put these two in here. Get those. Exactly square. Right, I'm going to use a little bit of a aluminium bar in there just to take out any minute little tolerances that might not be 100% when clamping. got the center now so I can use that to measure out for the dowel points right I'm going to drill four holes now for the dowels these are the tight holes um, and then I'll drill the clearance holes through this piece Just going to drill the clearance holes, which only goes through the top block now. I need to uh, get a piece of rod in there and then indicate off of the rod. So that I can take up any errors that um, may have occurred in cutting out the V slot. What I'm going to do is indicate off of either side of the pin which is sitting in the V-slot. Therefore, if it's sitting over slightly in one direction before I drill the hole, that, that will actually correct it. I also want to indicate off the end and come in a specified distance. Mark that on the block so that I know exactly the distance in. So when I'm putting a piece of rod in there, I need to know how far in it's going to be so I can actually if I've got to measure a hole at say 30 mil and I, I can put the rod in and know from this edge how far that rod's got to go in to get 30 mil hole on the rod so I'll just indicate off of here off of the back and off of the front because I need to sorry off of the back of the pin and the front of the pin and this edge, not not the block. The block is irrelevant now. It's got to come off the pin, back and front. I've got exact centre of the pin now. Table's locked down. So now I just need to get this edge. zeroed out the y-axis. I need to move the table another two millimeters which is half of the thickness of the tip of the center finder. Right, set that for zero so now I'm on the edge. So I'm going to come in 20 millimeters. It's exactly 20 millimeters into the center of the drill and the drill when I put it in will be exactly center of the rod that's in there not necessarily center of this because if that's out by half a thou or tenth or whatever then I need to be on the center of the rod not necessarily the center of the block and then what I'll do is I'll mark the block and I'll mark the block at the back so I know which side goes against the back of the vise Right, I was going to cut these pins off later but turns out I've got to cut them off now because the um, the chuck won't come down, the collet chuck won't come down far enough to be able to drill through this piece.
I'll clean those up when I take it out of the vice but I don't want to move it now because I've got it all set up to drill that hole right I haven't got a small enough uh, center drill well I haven't got one smaller than the drill I'm using so let's just gently tease this uh, one and a half millimeter drill bit in Okay, that's through. This is the test. Let's see if it's worked. through that that looks pretty much bang on center to me good job yeah nice that's worked out really good Right, I stamped a B on so that I know this is the back and I'll put 20 on there because I know that that hole is exactly 20mm centre from that end. So that's how I can um, gauge how far to put the rod in. Well, <coughs> well that was a nice little project as you can see, fairly straightforward. Um, I may, I don't know, I don't, I don't think it needs it for, for what it is. I may put a a little couple of clamping bolts in there I don't know but I don't, I don't think so because yeah it, it's, it's only very very light work I don't think any, I need any more than finger pressure clamping to hold the rod in but I'll see how it goes if I find it's moving then I will but uh, there it is nice little project That's all folks, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did hit the like button, I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question, I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.